Pickandrepair.com. We're all in this together. Hey, and over here, Pick and Repair, how about fuel pressure? So, recognize that diesel is a lubricity agent, it's not just a fuel. And so, as a result of it being a lubricity agent, not just a fuel, not having adequate fuel pressure is a problem. Right? And so we don't want to scratch the living bejesus out of our, of our you know, high dollar injector. So let's check our fuel pressure. By the way, every time after you do an injector job, check your fuel pressure. And now, fun fact, to check your fuel pressure, the proper way to test is to say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to uh, check it at wide open throttle driving down the road. Well, you just installed a set of sticks. What if your fuel pressure is in the proverbial crapper, right? Do you want to drive at wide open throttle and all this kind of stuff and, and, and hurt your brand new investment? I don't think you do. So what should you possibly consider doing? What you should do, what we would recommend that you do, is go ahead and check your static fuel pressure and get an indication. So just key on engine off, a brand new fresh fuel pump should be at like 62, 63 pounds with a brand new blue spring kit, right? If you don't know what a blue spring kit is, watch our other video. But the, uh, it's like 70 bucks, spend it. But, uh, or get a run return, even better. But key on engine off, 62, 63 PSI is great. If your fuel on, on an OE, on an original equipment, high um, uh, horizontal fuel conditioning module, otherwise known as a fuel pump, hello. But what happens is, um, if key on engine off, your fuel pressure is only like, you know, 47 or something, minimum force spec is 45, driving down the road at wide open throttle under low, do you think that 47 is gonna be high enough? Um, clearly not. Right? And so why would you want to put your injectors in, harm way, in harm's way? Get your static pressure numbers higher first, right? And then go ahead and go for the drive. So this is just key on engine off. You haven't rotated anything. You haven't done anything. So if you have a problem with fuel pressure, you'll find out before you even have the truck start. Isn't that pretty awesome? Now, if it is like, you know, 55, 60, you know, 62, somewhere in there, great, go ahead and start the truck and then watch it. But as soon as you see, you know, hopefully you don't see it all, but if you do see your fuel pressure drop below 45, shut off the truck, uh, like now seems good, right? Don't be taking a chance on that. You don't want your fuel pressure to drop down, okay? It's, there's just too much riding on it. Now, um, as far as your horizontal fuel conditioning module goes, I can tell you that if you've got if you've got more than like 150,000 miles in your rig, I know that your best friend's brother's cousin along, you know, cousin along. <laughs> That's awesome. Your best friend's cousin's nephew's sister's friend got 450,000 miles out of their horizontal fuel conditioning module. Good job out of them, right? Do you want to take a chance? I mean, like, do you? It's like, you know, not horrible money change out the fuel pump and just move on with life. And this is not me trying to sell parts. This is me trying to say, do you want to have problems in life? Is that what's, is that fun for you for some unknown reason? I mean, I don't know. So, but I know that money's not unlimited for any of us. And so it's a, it's a pay me now or pay me later kind of conversation. Every time I try to save a nickel on one of my power strokes, it ends up costing me a quarter. And so I don't want that for you. Now, an alternative, an alternative would be to say, hey, what we're going to do instead is we're going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, we're going to take our fuel filter apart, our, not our fuel filter, I'm sorry, our, our fuel pump apart, and we're going to change out, uh, we're going to take it off the frame rail, and we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take it apart, we're going to clean up all the gunk that's inside there, and, and give it a whirl, trying to get, um, trying to get everything uh, cleaned up again. That might work. And, and by the way, if your if, if, if your um, fuel pressure is good, in fact, it might be that that uh, that you just want to do this as preventative maintenance. So if you do a search on bowl filter on our site, you'll see there's uh, there's, the, there's the filter kit. It's like fifty bucks, and so it's like okay, so that's good maintenance. Or you could just replace the whole assembly. I don't really know what you want to do, but that's some fun facts. Okay, so check your fuel pressure. Now you have an idea why or an idea how. Uh, by the way, there is a test port at the base of the fuel, of the secondary fuel filter housing under the, under the hood of the truck. Uh, you just spin out the little test plug and put, your, put a metric to English adapter on there and off to the races you go. Or if you want, um, we have a billet aluminum cap that we sell with a 1 8 inch, uh, you know, it's a little, 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 little straighter valve is what it is. And you can go ahead and you can attach your, your fuel pressure gauge to that. Uh, or in fact, you can buy a 90 degree fitting from us and now you plumb it into the cab and I are all watching fuel pressure, which is obviously the better way yet. But there's simple ways to check your fuel pressure, but it is an imperative and important thing. And it's got, um, it's got a lot of consequences if you don't. 
So I hope this helps somebody. I know I'm kind of all over the place. I so appreciate you guys. Put your comments below. If, uh, if you'd prefer that I keep my videos to just one topic and to just shorter videos with one topic, please let me know. There's a lot of overlap otherwise. I totally get it, right? But I just don't want you to have problems. And you know, um, the, uh, and, you know, I say, oh, squirrel, turn the object. And so <laughs> I just don't want you to have any issues at all. And there's a lot to know, okay? So thinkandrepair.com, we're all in this together. Thanks very much. Um, if you are looking for alternatives for your fuel, um, for your fuel pressure system, uh, watch our videos on FAS. Uh, that is a reason I know that God loves you and wants you to be happy, okay? So thanks very much, appreciate you, bye-bye.